Hi guys, it's Emily. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to approach a problem where you're finding the true length of a line. So these problems are set up the same usually every time where you're given two principal views of the same line. So in this problem in particular, we are trying to find the true length of line GH. So we are given line GH in two views and we know from the subscripts that we are working in the frontal plane and the profile plane. And so if I draw the folding line, I'm going to label it FP. And so all FP represents um, is that we're working in the profile plane which is what P stands for, and the frontal plane, which is what F stands for. And so uh, neither views of line GH are the true length, and so that's what we are trying to find. So the first step of finding the true length um, using the auxiliary view method is to create a folding line that is parallel to one of the views of our line. So you can pick either view, you can pick either the frontal or the profile view of line GH. I think I'm going to pick the profile view um, just because I see that I have some room over here to construct my line. So that's what's kind of important. It doesn't really matter. You can create the auxiliary view um, to find the true length anywhere really off of either line, but you just want to make sure that you have enough room to do so. So the first step is to create your auxiliary folding line. And that auxiliary folding line is going to be parallel to the line in our profile view. So I'm just going to create that by drawing a line very close to uh, my line GH in my profile plane. And I'm just going to see if I can tweak it a little bit. Okay. So we know that this is parallel. And I'm just going to move it over. Uh, if you are hand drawing this, you would just, you know, use your straight edge to create this parallel line. Um, I'm using Notability um, just so it's more clear. Um, okay, so we know that this line is parallel with this line. And we want to label our folding lines as well. So I'm going to label this P1. And the reason why I'm labeling it uh, P is because we are still in our profile plane. And then I put a 1 over here because this represents our first auxiliary view. Okay, so that is the first step. The second step is to create extension lines that are perpendicular to our P1 folding line. And we want these extension lines to go off either point of our GH line. So we want to make extension lines off of point H and point G. So to do that, I'm going to create a line that is parallel first and then I'm going to just rotate it 90 degrees and now I have my perpendicular extension line and I'm placing this on point H in my profile plane and you can see that it extends into my first auxiliary view drawing space. And then I'm just going to copy this line. 
and place it on point G in my profile plane. Okay, and so once we have this, now we are going to count two folding lines back. So this was the most recent folding line that we made. So that's one, and then our original folding line, so two. So we've counted back two folding lines. And now what we want to do is we want to take the perpendicular distance from our FP folding line to the points of our line GH. So I'm going to go from my folding line and I'm taking the perpendicular distance from my folding line to point H. And so just to show that it's perpendicular, and I'm going to do that with my point G as well. So I'm going from my folding line to my point G in our frontal plane. And I'm actually going to change the colors on this. I'm going to use green just so it's different. Okay. And so once we have these distances, we are going to take these distances and we are going to place them on our extension lines that we've made in our auxiliary view drawing space. So I'm going to take this line here from our folding line FP to our point H in our frontal plane. I'm just going to move it over here and then I'm going to rotate it. Oops. And so I'm, since this went with point H over here, I'm also putting it on point H extension line. And I'm just going to create it, or I'm just going to make it parallel. And I'm placing it on our P1 folding line. And then this is going to be our point H. And similarly, I'm going to do that with my point G. So I'm just going to take this line and I'm going to move it over into our P1 folding line uh, auxiliary view drawing space. I'm just going to rotate it slightly. So it's touching our P1 folding line. And now this is point G. And then the last thing to do is connect these two lines or these two points. And this is our true length. Or TL for short. So now we found the true length of line GH. And that's how you do it uh, using the auxiliary view method. So pretty simple. Um, now, if you're given a problem where you have two lines, but they're not adjacent to each other, 